Hi Libra, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a reading for your sign today. That being said, as usual, as always, this is not a personal reading for you. This is a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you'd like a personal reading from me, just for you, just for your situation, just like this, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com and 40 bucks will hook it up. What else? Uh, yeah, so today is for Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If it does resonate with you, that's awesome. That means the cards are speaking directly to you through me today. If it doesn't resonate with you, it just wasn't your turn, my friend. I highly recommend that all y'all, yes, I said all y'all, y'all is two of you. All y'all is more than two of you, okay? That's a that's a southern thing right there. All y'all need to understand your um, rising sign, your sun sign, your moon sign, and your Venus sign. There is a link in the box below that will generate a free um, astrological natal chart for you that will explain all of the planetary positions in your chart on the day and time that you were born. Why is it important, you might ask? It's important because your sun sign, today is Libra, is how you receive information from the world. Your moon sign is how you process that information. Your moon sign is how you feel about your world. It's how you process your information. And your ascending sign or your rising sign is how you disseminate that information into the world around you. And your Venus sign is just about how you give and receive love. So those are important to know. You can cross watch those other signs and get a more comprehensive perspective about the events that are unfolding and the synchronicities will blow your mind. So if this doesn't resonate, cross watch your other signs. If it still doesn't resonate, it just wasn't for you, right? All right, let's get started. <clears throat> This is, my friend, a continuation of last, the last reading that we did a couple of weeks ago. I believe it was entitled Choosing Between Two Queens, I think is what I called it. And uh, in this reading, you have definitely made your choice. And it is just joy, joy, happy, happy, love, love all over the place. So let's talk about it. First card out is the Queen of Swords right there, right? Queen of Swords talks to us about... Um, a decision being made within yourself, a decision being made, not only a decision being made, but a decision being executed, right? What is this decision about? It's about love with the two of cups, love, 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 unified love, partnerships and relationships. What is this truth, this decision that has been spoken? You have resolved the conflict, the internal conflict that you have within yourself about this particular relationship. And I'm going to just go out on a limb here and say that you have resolved the conflict within yourself about choosing between those two queens from the last reading. Going into hangman mode, going to pause, you're going to surrender. You're going to let go of old perspectives and you're going to come out on the other side with new perspectives. Coming out on the other side with new perspectives leads to an ending, a change and a transformation in your life. This ending, change and transformation is, uh, is communicated by you to this other person. Okay. Knight of Swords, it's an action-oriented communication card. This means that you are actively going to share this decision-making process with another person, right? The burden is over. It's released. There is death to the burden, okay? The burden of this decision, of this, of this hanged man energy that you're in, it's over, right? Decision made going forward with some pointed, honest communication. Where are you going with that pointed, honest communication about this decision that you've made over here? Well, you're going to the Queen of Pentacles, in your last reading, you were trying to choose between the, tween, the Queen of Pentacles, <laughs> the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands, right? So you are taking this information to the Queen of Pentacles. You are taking messages of feels and emotions to this Queen of Pentacles. Page of Swords reiterates 
that not only are you taking this information of feels and loves to this Queen of Pentacles, but you also have some more information to deliver, uh, passionate messages to deliver about love and a new beginning and a new journey. This new beginning and this new journey, you see as a wish fulfilled for you. It's going to bring you happiness and satisfaction. The world card comes in and says there's been an integration, a completion, and an accomplishment of everything that you've tried to achieve up until this point. Integration is referring to you integrating all of these feelings into the box that they belong in and proceeding forward down the next path of your life. The Nine of Wands is about uh, burden, struggle. It's been a struggle and you've almost given up on it probably several times. This guy's tired, tired. He's been planting these damn wands all day long and he is just wore out. He's got that last wand in his hand and he's like, oh, fuck me, really? I just, is, it, is this even worth it? Is this, is this even worth it? But he's, he's one wand away from having the job completed and he's not going to give up. He wants to give up, but he's not going to give up. This feeling of the struggle is over. It's finished. What you have now is the Ace of Pentacles, which is the manifestation of a new opportunity. I want to point out something about Aces, okay? Everybody seems to think that when an Ace shows up, Ace of Cups up over here. When an ace shows up, it's like, kapow, new beginning. Woo! And no, that's not how it goes. Aces are, this is a perfect example. Aces are seedlings from God to be planted in the fertile ground intended to and cared for so they can grow into something beautifully. Okay? Aces are not handed down by the universe. New beginnings are not handed down by the universe until you have tilled the soil, fertilized it, and made ready to, to procure this new beginning, okay? So when you see a new beginning coming up, if it hasn't happened for you yet and you're waiting and waiting and waiting on that new beginning, you need to do some retrospection and see if the soil is ready for the new beginning, right? This universe is telling me right here that you are this universe. This, <laughs> this reading is telling me that you are ready to plant this new beginning and tend to it and procure it and grow it into something strong and beautiful. Three of Cups says absolute just celebration and joy, right? Just, just woohoo! Celebration and joy, right? You are very happy and excited about this new beginning right here. With somebody that you are reconciling or reuniting with. Somebody that you are ready to plan your future with. Seven of Pentacles says it is not only somebody that you're going to plan your future with, but somebody that you see worth investing in. You see profit and reward from the seeds that you've sown. And you're ready to go forward and build a life with this person. How do we know that? Because down here, we have the Two of Cups. Unified love, partnerships and relationships with an Ace of Wands, right? The seedlings of an inspired, powerful, creative new beginning with a shit ton of potential. Potential is the key word there. It is an ace. It's the seedling, the beginning stages of a brand new beginning with somebody. Hanged man comes in and says that you are pausing. Again, hanged man, you're pausing, surrendering, contemplating, and coming up with a plan. You're coming up with a plan as to how to build your future together. Reiterated by foresight and expansion. So you're in your head for a minute, which is a good place to be. Hangman is a great place to be, right? Hangman, hermit, the high priestess, they're all really good places to be because it means that you are in touch with your inside, right? So you're, you're planning, thinking, contemplating, pausing, planning 
about how to begin to build a future with this person, clarified by building a future. Next card out is the Four of Wands, building a solid, stable foundation. Celebration, harmony, home, marriage. Crossed by the Two of Wands. Future planning, making progress, making decisions, discovering things about yourself, things about your planning. It's a great card. It's it's awesome. It's this this is this is just awesome. <clears throat> Ending this reading, we have um, choices and confusion. Judgment is applied to that energy of having choices and being confused. Judgment is just that. It's judgment. It's a decision. It's an absolution to a problem. Not only is it an absolution to a problem, but we can formulate decisions in our mind all day long. But until we actually execute it, it's meaningless, right? When you execute an important decision in your life, it refocuses your direction and gives you a rebirth about how you are going to progress from that point forward. It brings you stability, balance, and prioritization. It makes you feel super excited super excited. The Page of Wands is about enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, having a free spirit. I mean, you are just psyched, right? You are pumped. You're psyched. It's like, it's on. It's, it's so exciting. This is, this Page of Wands is those feelings that we all have at the beginning of a new relationship, right? Those excited feelings. Knight of Cups, you're going to be somebody's knight in shining armor. You're going to be the knight in shining armor to this Queen of Pentacles right here. The star card says there is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this relationship. It's beautiful. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. It's beautiful. Eight of Pentacles again, engaging, working on it, building something. What are you building? Your future with the Four of Wands. Celebration, harmony, marriage, and home. And that is your reading. Short but sweet to the point, and it's a beautiful reading. You want to go over it again real quick? Okay, you can click off now. If you're good, you got the message, and you're all good with it, you can click off because I'm going to go over this one more time, okay? And we're going to talk about some major arcana lessons too, although there, there's not much here, but that's okay. All right. <clears throat> You've made an absolute decision. You've made a decision about love. You have reconciled the conflict and you are pausing, surrendering, and coming out on the other side with a new perspective, with a plan, right? There's death, ending, change, transformation to your life, to the way that you feel about things. You are going to go forward with action-oriented communication, and the struggle is over. This action-oriented communication you are taking is to the Queen of Cups about feels and emotions. This Page of Swords right here says that not only are you taking information, not only are you communicating about your feelings to this Queen of Pentacles, but you are also communicating the fact that you want an inspired new beginning and, and you have passionate messages for her. The Queen of Pentacles, him, whatever, the Queen, right? The Queen of Pentacles. Ace of Cups says that you want to talk about love. You want to talk about the seedling beginnings of a love relationship. And you want to take a new journey and have a new beginning with this Queen of Pentacles right here. This is a wish that you've had for a long time. But for whatever reason, it uh, just simply couldn't materialize. I think it's maybe because that Queen of Wands from your other reading was just uh, in your way, had you sidetracked. The World card says there's a completion, an integration, an accomplishment, and forward movement in this relationship. 
The Nine of Wands says the struggle is over. Ace of Pentacles says there is the manifestation of a brand new beginning. You have three aces in this reading. Manifest is just, just new, brand new everything, right? There is a seedling of, of an opportunity to create a new beginning with this Queen of Pentacles. Three of Cups says joy, joy, happy, happy, celebrating in regards to reuniting and reconciling with somebody from your past. Two of Wands says you are going to begin to plan your future. Not only are you going to begin to plan your future, but you see purpose in investing in this relationship. You see profit and reward manifesting from the seeds that you have sown in this love relationship. And you want an absolute inspired new beginning. You're going to pause, surrender, and reflect. You're going to come out with a plan. A plan to build something. A plan to engage with one another. A plan to build your future together. A plan to build a solid and stable foundation where there is harmony and love. Two of Wands just reiterates building your future, planning for your future, taking the next step down the path that you're going to go. Decisions and confusion. There's been a, there, the, the choices, okay? Choices and confusion. Choices and confusion. There's been an absolute judgment has been applied. Absolute judgment. There's an absolution to the situation and a rebirth in the direction that your life is going to go. You have balance and prioritization. Super excited. Super, super excited. Because you are going to be somebody's knight in shining armor. There is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in this relationship. You are going to come together, engage, and work it out. Four of Wands says, not only are you going to come together, engage, and work it out, but you're going to build a future. You're going to build a solid foundation where there is celebration, harmony, home, and maybe potentially marriage on down the road. That's your reading. Isn't that amazing, Libra? Quick, sharp, to the point, but uh, very, very poignant. Very poignant. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Namaste.